Hello everyone, welcome to let's go dot xyz. In this uh, video tutorial, we'll be discussing how to implement decision tree for uh, our iris dataset. So let's get started. As usual, we will be following those seven steps that we discussed to build a machine learning model. So the first step will be to load the data. So we will load the data from the scikit-learn uh, dataset module and then we are loading iris data so once we are done loading the data the second step is to separate features and labels from the data so we put all our features on x and all our labels or classes on y so then the next step is to split the data into training and test data so the train test split class takes a few arguments the one is the x values y values then test sites we are specifying to split 50% of the data into test data and 50% into train data and then the random state which is by default 0 so we are specifying it as 0 as well so uh, another second another step I mean the fourth step is to standardize uh, our data so we have uh, uh, we are using standard scalar function from uh, scikit-learn to do that. So we do fit and transform on our training and test data to convert uh, uh, the existing value into standard values. Another one, uh, fifth step is to choose the machine learning model and uh, set the hyperparameters. So here we are using decision tree classifier. So we are classifying it based on the criteria, entropy criteria and then the maximum depth which uh, we are going to play with we are starting off with 1 and then uh, random state as usual 0. So we fit the model to our uh, decision tree, I mean fit the data to a decision tree classifier and then we make predictions in the last step. So before we execute this code and see the output, uh, let's see, I mean, let's uh, discuss what this uh, decision tree classifier is all about. Uh, so decision tree classifier is basically a non-parametric uh, uh, learning technique which learns the data by establishing few rules during training. Apologies for that. So, uh, for example, let's say uh, we have uh, five data where uh, this is the criteria. So, we have age, which is our x, and then we have uh, uh, the label, which is uh, y. So, in the first data set, we have age as. Uh, 15 and is classified as uh, that that age is classified as student and the second we have age as uh, 13 and it's classified as student in uh, third one we have age as uh, 30 that's classified as adult and the fourth one the age is uh, uh, 35 and it's classified as adult and then the fifth one we have age as uh, 70 and it's classified as a senior citizen. So what this uh, decision tree actually does is it, it will come up with set of rules based on these data. Let's say for example uh, after training it will come up with rules like if age less than 15 each student if age between 15 and 35 it's an adult if age greater than 65 it's a senior citizen so next time when you feed a value let's say uh, age as uh, 68 it will do the classification as uh, senior citizen so that's that that is how this uh, decision tree classifier works so now let's execute this code and see how it performs on our iris dataset. Save this, press F5. So we are getting an accuracy of 60% uh, for the depth 
at uh, 1 and the training test data size of 50%. Now let's increase uh, training data so we are still getting only 60% accuracy. So let's go back to 5 so because it has no impact. Let's increase the depth to 2. Yeah, 5 so the accuracy has increased drastically that's 29% increase in accuracy now increase change the depth it's 3 press F5 wow 96% accurate let's make it 4 96% 5 96% it seems it is saturated so let's go back to where the saturation occurred which is at 3 press F5 and execute so the best accuracy that we could achieve on for this Irish data set in uh, decision tree using decision tree classifier is 96% thanks for watching this video tutorial talk to you guys in the next video tutorial Bye for now.